Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to design a beam. Okay, we have some given data. Effective span is five meter, which is five thousand millimeters. We have dead load G K fifteen kilonewton, live load Q K ten kilonewton. Design life is for fifty years, and then we have fire resistance is sixty minutes, so one hour fire resistance. If we have one hour fire resistance, then we use uh, exposure class X C one. It means our beam. It means our beam is in dry or permanent wet condition. For concrete characteristic strength is F C K thirteen newton per millimeter square. Then we have steel characteristic strength, which is F Y K five hundred kilo newton. Okay. How do we start that uh, designing the beam? First of all, we have dead load. Dead load is going to be which is G K, we have 15 kilo newton. 15 multiplied by 1.35. This is a dead load factor which we must utilize while designing the beam. So the answer would be 20.25 kilo newton per meter. Then we have live load which is Q K. Live load we are using uh, 10 kilo newton. So the 10 Multiply by 1.5. So this is 1.5 is a live load factor. We will get 15 point 15 kilonewton. Sorry. Then we have to calculate design ultimate load. Design ultimate load would be addition of live load and dead load, which is 20.25 plus 15 is going to be 35.25. Kilonewton. Okay, based on this 35 kilo uh, 35.25 kilonewton, we will uh, carry on our calculation. After that, we will have to calculate bending moment. Bending moment can be expressed with B M O with just M formula for bending moment for simply supported beam. Just keep in mind we are designing simply supported beam, so we have a beam just only two uh, supports. Formula would be W L square over eight. Okay, W L square over eight. We have this is weight. For example, a load would be considered with W. So thirty five point twenty five multiplied by ten to power six because it's kilo newton. So that's why we have to um, multiply it by ten to power. Multiply by L is five square uh, five meter, which is given square meter divided by eight. And the answer we will get one hundred and ten point sixteen kilonewton meter. Okay, so we have our bending moment one hundred and ten point sixteen kilonewton meter. Now we have to calculate shear force. Okay, shear force can be expressed with V max O. Just V will be W L over two. So we have W. I mean the one which we have calculated design ultimate load thirty five point two five multiplied by five divided by two. The answer we will get eighty eight point one two five kilonewton. Okay. So we have calculated bending moment. We have calculated our uh, shear force. Now uh, based on these number, we will calculate our Main rear reinforcement. Okay, so I am going to erase this because I don't have enough space. The next step is main reinforcement. Okay, so main reinforcement we have width of our beam is going to be two hundred millimeters because it's given. Uh, it's not given in here. I can maybe write it down here, but the width is two hundred and the depth or maybe height is four hundred millimeter. Before calculating further step, we have to calculate effective depth because we always work with effective depth. What is effective depth? So it will be effective depth would be total depth, okay, minus cover concrete cover. Obviously, then we have minus link diameter. Then we have again minus half main bar dia. Okay. So we have total depth which is four hundred 
minus cover if we have uh, our beam with these depth for example uh, width is 200 millimeter and this also comes from our uh, euro codes as you can see we have exposure class r60 and the width is 200 millimeter and the cover would be exposure class is xc1 here dry condition for example the cover would be from here as you can see xc1 is here minimum uh, nominal cover would be 25 so that's why this 25 come from our table c3 from euro code okay then we have a link diameter we are going to use the links in our uh, beam will be uh, 8 diameter i mean diameter of our link would be a uh, 8 this is what i am going to use and the half main bar dia the diameter which i am going to use will be 16 the half of 16 will be 8 you can also use other diameter but in this case i am using 16 if you are using other diameter then you will have to make it half of that uh, steel diameter effective depth will be 359 millimeters so this is the depth which we are going to use in our question now we have to calculate design bending moment design bending moment formula for design bending moment is going to be k is equal to bending moment or maybe i'm writing it m so then you have bd square then you have fck Bending moment we have 110.16 multiplied by 10 to power 6 because kilonewton meter to convert into uh, millimeter newton millimeter you have to multiply it with uh, 1000 and again 1000 so it will be 200 multiplied by 359 square multiplied by fck we are using here 30 okay so the firm, uh, the final answer would be 0 0.142 142 less than 0 0.167 so this is 167 is a standard k value has to be 0 0.167 not more than that so we, so we are within that uh, limit okay now we have to calculate z over d z is a distance let me draw a diagram so let's say this is our beam and the z distance would be from top of the beam to the center line of the bar steel bar so this distance we have to calculate formula for this is going to be 0 0.5 so this is formula for the z i mean this distance is the z but we have z over d so i will calculate z 1 plus 1 minus 3.53 multiplied by k okay so if i put the numbers in this formula i will get z over d equals to uh, 0 0.85 which is less than 0 0.95 and 95 is our standard so z over d has to be within 0 0.95 so we are 0 0.85 so it's okay now the z would be 0 0.85 multiplied by d which is going to be 0 0.85 multiplied d is our effective depth so z would be 305.15 millimeter okay so we have calculated our z now we have to calculate area of steel okay the area of steel for formula for that is area of steel is going to be bending moment divided by 0 0.87 multiply by z multiply by f y k okay so bending moment we have already calculated 10 to power 6 divided by 0 0.87 multiply by 305.15 multiply by 500 so 500 is given already so what we will get area of steel would be 800 29.9 millimeter square okay so we have got area of steel 829.9 so we have to cover this area by providing enough steel bar so what i am going to do i am going to use uh, euro code from uh, bar size table so these are number of bars and this is diameter of bar and this is the area of steel so our area of steel we have to pick a bar size with the particular number so we can cover the area which we have just calculated there are two possibilities 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी यूज फाइव बार विद डाया मीटर ऑफ सिक्सटीन द एरिया ऑफ स्टील वी विल गेट वन थाउजेंड मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर वन थाउजेंड फाइव मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर और सेकेंडली वी कैन यूज थ्री बार विद ट्वेंटी मीटर डायमीटर द एरिया वुड बी फोर्टी टू मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर ओके सो दैट्स हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट your area of steel with this formula and in order to cover and in order to know how many bar we have to provide we can use euro code bar size table that's it for today thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel